I love beer, ladies and gentlemen. I also love vagina, but never did I think that I would in my lifetime experience a thing such as Amaranth making a beer with her vagina bacteria in it. Yeah, this has been trending and this is nuts. There's actually a company in Poland and if you look at their information on their website, it sounds fucking nuts. These guys are out there. They have like a whole backstory involving women's essence. And it's the Order of Yoni is what they're called. These people are nuts. Take a look at their beer, the Order of Yoni. And this almost sounds like some weird Illuminati type of stuff right here. They have like a whole backstory about goddesses and things like that. Yoni beer, the sacrament of the Order of Yoni, is full of divine aspects, femininity, sensuality, charm, passion, and sexuality. Beer with sexuality due to the usage of vaginal lactobacillus. That's vagina bacteria, ladies and gentlemen, of great goddess angels in the brewing process. Now, in simp terms, women like Amaranth, they got hot models here that are basically allowing gynecologists to get their vaginal bacteria stuff inside of their private parts where they pee where they come things of that nature their private parts what type of incel do you have to be to be interested in a beer like this i'm gonna tell you this i'm gonna be honest i will at least try it one time i'm a trisexual i'll try anything once i gotta do it for the video so i will get one of these to try for video one time but I'm telling you right now, it's being described as a sour ale. That doesn't sound appealing at all, to be honest. When I think of vagina, I don't want anything sour. I want something sweet, especially when I have beer involved. That's almost like ruining a good beer. Now again, this is from Poland. I think anybody that's in Europe or the UK or any of that part of the world, you guys are like sexual deviants. Y'all got like red light districts. Y'all got all sorts of weird pegging and all sorts of weird stuff, all right? I, I don't fly that way. I mentioned this was trending on Twitter. You can see even Amaranth asked, who wants a free bottle? I mean, she's owning this. She's a master of self-promotion and viral marketing. I think the only other person that tops her on this is Logan Paul. And the funniest tweet that I saw actually came from good friend of the channel, Boogie2988, that said the fact that this will still sell out is the grossest part of the whole thing he's not wrong this is going to sell out you think of amaranth she sold bath water there's been other girls that have sold fart jars this is the era of the twitch thought ladies and gentlemen i'm not hating get the fucking bag get it it is gross but get the bag while there's simps out there think about it your great grandfather was like a world war ii veteran you got vietnam vets and everything nope Nowadays, people's grandfathers are going to be known for buying vagina beer and bath water from Thoughts. Think about that. And your grandmothers are going to be Twitch Thoughts. When they're 90 years old, they're going to flash back and be like, Oh, shiny boy, I sold my vagina bacteria in a beer. Okay, yeah, you're going to be laughing your way all the way to the bank. I got it, Amaranth. Good props. Good props. But my video is not even about you, Amaranth. Honestly, this video is about how weird this company is we're gonna take a look at their website because this is out there now i gotta be careful because this is an 18 and up website i don't want to get demonetized here is the story of the vaginal beer so you can see it talks about a great goddess and it says the greatest among gods feminine feminine deity whose main reincarnations are aphrodite venus ishtar mokash and freya Thousands of years ago, the great goddesses, worshippers, and priests in almost all cultures and civilizations discovered her sacrament, her divine part, lying hidden in the deity's uni. Which is an artsy-fartsy wave sounding like they found the goddess's vagina. That's basically what it's saying. It said they took with respect the Saint Yoni Lactobacillus, the divine sacrament, and combined it with water, malt, and yeast, creating the first sour ale so there's a backstory there's an actual lore behind vagina beer ladies and gentlemen this goes on to talk about how the sour ale combined with the bacteria the vagina served as a new secret sacrament provided by the great goddess 
I want what these guys are smoking and that they produce it and drunk by the followers and they set up a secret order. This is like a vagina beer Illuminati. <laughs> the order of the Yanni, ladies and gentlemen. Their destiny is basically to worship the goddess by finding her deities who are all the reincarnations like Aphrodite and all that and take the vagina bacteria and make the sour ale and drink it. So this secret order is all about drinking vagina ale. Something about this is just weird. You know, when you think about like speaking of Illuminati and you think of like all these rituals and stuff that you hear about where people are doing like these ancient rituals to like ancient deities and demons and stuff. Something is just weird that thousands of years later on in the supposed lore that this company is pushing some kind of like secret order tradition where they use vagina bacteria from females and drink it it's some kind of weird sacrament like this is some kind of weird made-up religion of vagina beer and it's kind of unsettling to be completely honest and to me it sounds like the secret order was a bunch of simps thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago and if you come back here man they talk about like ancient greek ancient sumeria ancient egypt they talk about all this stuff throughout the years of people doing this kind of like secret ritual with you know vagina beer look we even got the illuminati freemason symbol right there weird stuff now the funniest thing about this whole entire website is that they actually detail the process that they make this vagina beer so here we go they say they devote a lot of time to looking for a woman who has all the desired instincts the goddess we want to put in a bottle and in this case the goddess is amaranth i mean she's a hottie let's be honest here she is hot. They go on to say they discovered the process of transmitting female essence by isolating lactic acid bacteria from Yanni of sensuous women. And right now they have three women, Paulina, Monica, and Patricia that they have listed. They're going to be adding Amaranth. And this is just far out. They say an essential part of the process is to ensure the safety of their product that they isolate and test for the absence of other bacteria and viruses in the vagina bacteria and that they prevent the other bacteria and viruses and organisms from surviving because it has to be like pure bacteria from the vagina. No other organisms can be in it. And basically they do a pap smear of the model or the goddess, whatever they're gonna call them, and they take them to a laboratory, they run them through, they make sure the bacteria is isolated, cleaned, and analyzed. What kind of weird, sick, pervert company do you got to be to actually have a laboratory that specializes in cleaning vagina bacteria? What's this world come to? How come we can't use this technology to cure cancer? To have humans' limbs that are missing regrow like lizards? What are we doing? Can we please go to the moon instead of making vagina beer? Uh, again, I'm not hating on these ladies that are totally making bank off their simps, but you got to look at the bigger picture here. What the hell is up with this beer company? This is weird shit. <laughs> so anyways, I, I just, I couldn't resist talking about this, guys. This is something else. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts.